just launched our trimaran for the first time since we bought her four and a half years ago. It was emotional and a relief, and in the end, the never-ending project somehow got to an end anyhow, even though it many times felt like the end was close, but not close enough. And we have to say, we're pretty proud of the transformation we have done with the boat. Or, what do you think? In the last episode, we left Acapulco and set course north towards Cihuatineo, a trip about 130 miles. The wind has been going up and down all the day, and now we just uh, uh, we tacked and uh, just gained some more. Um, some better angles for tonight and the wind is shifting a little bit oh my hair is a mess <laughs> um, yeah so we'll go on this course for I don't know, some hours and then we'll attack back um, we're doing like 1.5 bmg right now I think so um, yeah but it's it's comfortable <laughs> We're moving, but yeah, I want to get to see what the Neo tomorrow. <laughs> One small little problem we have found out uh, has been our uh, anchor chain, or actually the road, the, the rope that's connected to the chain. Uh, it's slipping uh, sometimes in the windlass. It's a little bit hard getting it in, especially so when you're gonna pull up the anchor and the and the and the, and the road. Uh, so when we, when we get into say what the nail, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the other end and resplice it to the chain and see if that then is uh, uh, less worn and hopefully it gets better. It's not a surprise really that we're having a <laughs> lack of wind. It picked up a little bit just. I think it's uh, true wind is four between four and five knots and we're doing about uh, four knots, um, but not towards. The waypoint we're doing about two and a half to three knots VMG. That's uh, velocity made good, and uh, it's still a bit frustra frustrating. Um, we're having uh, 15 miles left, and we'll need to do a couple of attacks. Uh, come on, can't you just give us some good, strong winds, please? Vegetarian taco with al pastor and soya meat. Just a bunch of leftovers, frying them together with some tortillas and avocado. How are you? I'm starting getting hungry. <laughs> frying the tortillas now. Lunch is served. Yeah, it's shaded. We have to find good spots. Here it's so sunny in the cockpit at the moment. Want your taco served here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a pretty nice spot sitting having your lunch. <laughs> great. Do you think so? <laughs> it's great. Shady, maybe a bit of breeze. Delicious. And right now we're doing perfect speed. Very good time for having a lunch. <laughs> I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about you all night. I've been searching for this all my life. You're just my type. I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right. Your dark hair with those eyes so bright. They look into my soul and it sparks my you see, the wind always shows up in the end of the day or so. It's not really the end of the day, what is it? Two o'clock, I think, not even two o'clock. And we're doing a bit between eight and nine and a half knots, and it's about uh, nine to ten knots of wind, I think. 
So yeah, we're having uh, about seven and a half miles left. So looking forward to get to see what you nail. It's always a good. It's always good ending the day with that this kind of super good sailing. Ready for uh, anchoring? Yeah. All set. Just drop the hook. Hello, Zé with the nail. Mmm, yummy. Let's have some Philadelphia coffee, fruits, chocolate. Chocolate from Chiapas. Welcome to Cihuatanejo. Nice vibe here. Like in many places, there's a lot of fishing boats. Uh, Pangas or lanchas here. It's a nice vibe. Siwetaneo is famous from the IMDb top ranked movie Shawshank Redemption. I guess at that time it was more low key than today. Although it's nice and clean and pretty, but uh, it's a little bit more about tourists. Outside when we when we left Siwatanejo, 
Tired, I would say. Yeah, 350 miles from Zewetania to here, and not a lot of sailing actually. Like you can hear in the background, the the, the engine is running, and I really would have liked it, that we would have sailed more. But the forecast just then wasn't uh, as uh, the wind just wasn't what the forecast said. Uh, the wind was less and uh, usually it blows from the north um, but now it shifted and there should have been some uh, sailing uh, with the wind coming from the south um, but it was when it came it was way too weak to to be able to sail on but uh, we're getting closer to um, Puerto Vallarta we're having about 18 miles left so uh, we'll get there about an hour after um, a sunset I guess so but it's the full moon now so we should still be able to see what's around us Miles left. The wind uh, decided to uh, go in our favor, uh, increase a little bit, and um, fall off a little bit. So, yeah, we got to save the last bit into Puerto Vallarta. So, that's at least better than nothing. We have been sailing this trip, but not as much as we uh, expected. But, anyhow, um, enjoying the moment right now so it's it's nice uh, the sun is um, setting maybe in um, an hour or so 45 minutes yeah we're coming in uh, in the evening now a little bit late but uh, it's still it was maybe a 20 or 30 minutes since the, uh, the sun was setting <clears throat> and I was expecting of course to rely on mr. moon he helps us a lot many times and uh, <clears throat> it's almost full moon uh, now and it's, we've seen it in the, the last couple of days and it's just, you know, if you haven't say, been sailing on, in, the in the nights before it just lights up the whole, the whole world so uh, we were expecting um, Mr. Moon to show up but then we just saw that he just got up maybe 30 minutes ago <laughs> so we hope uh, it's still gonna be <coughs> bright enough for us to see the around us how it looks and um, but yeah I just took for granted that he went up um, earlier. We try to not enter new ports in the middle of the night but we do make exceptions like here. It felt very good to have dropped the hook here in La Cruz Banderas Bay. We've sailed about 1000 miles since we left Chiapas and we're getting closer to Sierra Cortez. The problem is the northerly winds that are stronger and giving fewer weather windows up here but hopefully we can keep on moving soon. <laughs> 